Kai Havertz started the game in midfield and there were, of course, uh, questions about that. A lot of Arsenal fans felt that that experiment in the first half of last season didn't really work, myself included. But I just wonder if there's a world in which him and Gabriel Jesus could form a really, really fruitful pairing and partnership. Um, Jesus, you know, didn't play as much football as he would have liked last season. Um, I think that the reason they bring the best out in each other is because Jesus likes to go roaming. Jesus likes to drop deep, likes to go left, likes to go right. And Kai Havertz, when he plays in midfield, quite enjoys looking forward, identifying spaces, getting his head down and basically running into them, waiting to be found. And I think if you've got the right structure behind our midfield, so if you've got the right number six, if you've got the right inverted fullback that is going to come in and be almost the second number six when we're attacking, then maybe you can get away with this. It's a bit like the Zinchenko thing in that I think there are games where you shouldn't do it. I think there are games where against the better opposition, that slight imbalance that that gives us will cause a problem and we might be punished for it. But I think there will be plenty of games over the course of the season where you can get away with it because Kai Havertz is more than capable of dropping deep into midfield, making challenges, doing all the defensive stuff as well. And I think that's the bit that he never really gets credit for. And I find it difficult to kind of comprehend why. I asked Mikel Arteta yesterday um, about this because I watched the game and I just thought that the combination play between two players that have not really played an awful lot of football together was just on a really, really high level. There seems to be a chemistry and understanding between the two. And I think that for Jesus, who's often criticised for not staying at centre forward, to have someone that's going to go into those spaces when he vacates them sort of means that we're not looking at him when there's no one in those areas. But also for Havertz, who is more of a forward than a midfielder, having that uh, sort of opportunity frequently to drift into those areas where he can do more damage probably suits him quite well as well. So it feels like this is a really good combo and a really good pair. And two players that if they can build that understanding further, could really bring the best out of each other. And I asked Mikel Arteta about that after the game. Uh, let's have a quick uh, listen uh, to what he had to say on that. It's like there's a really good understanding developing between Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz. It's often said that Gabriel Jesus trips out of that centre forward role. There's having someone like Kai behind him who's willing to make those runs with it, bring the best out of both players, and you're excited to see them play together. Yes, uh, I think it's something that you can see coming. It's natural, it flows, there's good chemistry between them, as well with Leo. I think because the three, they have that nine, false nine profile. Uh, and I really like what I saw today. Yeah. So there we have it. Mikel Arteta, not just talking about the two that I asked him about, but throwing in uh, the name of Leandro Trossard as well, who he sees as a player capable of playing in that force nine profile as well. So as the point I'm trying to make is as long as you've got the defensive structure behind them, then having that fluidity and the ability to interchange positions the way that those three can and the understanding that they're kind of developing and forming it makes us really, really difficult to defend against and really, really difficult to pick up. Hearing that yesterday, I, I'm not, I'm still not convinced that Mikel's going to go with that week in, week out. But it does make me think that maybe in his estimations, that's where Martinelli falls down a little bit. I think Martinelli gives you the directness, the raw pace, all of that stuff, the drive. But is he on the same wavelength as these guys when it comes to sort of interchanging positions, getting into the right spaces, being really intelligent with your movement. He probably isn't. And I think that's maybe why, partly why, he's found himself uh, having to kind of uh, prove himself all over again, at least in terms of warranting a starting position. But I thought that was a really, really interesting uh, bit from yesterday's game. And obviously really grateful to be able to ask Mikel Arteta the question and get a, a really good response as well.